Hello everybody and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted um, one of my like usual kind of videos that I post, but I'm going to be doing the Jade Trial in this video. I'm going to try and get back into the swing of things on the channel and uh, yeah, I can hope I hope I can uh, manage to do that. Um, by the way, this is going to be my first time learning anything at all about Jade. I haven't watched any of her trailers. I'm going to make a video where I react to those right after I do this. Um, I have no idea anything that she does. I know that she is a follow-up character and that she's supposed to help follow-up characters because that is what we knew like months ago. But that is, I don't know anything about like the nitty gritty of what this character does exactly. So we'll see. All right. So when attacking can trigger a follow-up attack. Okay. Uh, teammates can enable Jade to trigger more follow-up attacks. All right. Teammate speed increases in attack. And attacks carry extra damage. Okay. So that doesn't really say anything until we, you know, get into it. And we actually see what happens. Wow. She is an unbelievable character. I remember whenever my on whenever my account was completely follow-up based. If that was still the case, and I would have um Topaz and Adventurian right now instead of like Firefly and Acheron or whatever or a few of the new characters that I've pulled recently There's a good child. Do as you're told. oh my god There's a good child. Do as you're told. <laughs> uh yeah this character's pretty nutso wow Character's actually beautiful. Ah, he's chilling. All right. Oh my God! Wait, this basic attack—just the basic attack itself—is the first basic attack that's not just deal base damage to a single enemy. It says in minor quantum damage to enemies adjacent. Wow. Wait, that's crazy. I always thought Eridition character they should go on and make an Eridition character that just has an AoE basic attack. Um, I thought that would be cool, and I'm glad that they've done it. Uh, skill makes a single ally become the debt collector and increases their speed. After the debt collector attacks, they deal minor additional quantum damage to each enemy target hit and consume their own HP. Interesting. That that will help Blade. Um, when Jade becomes the debt collector, she cannot gain the speed boost effect and her attacks do not consume HP. Okay, so it's like a, a plus and a minus. She doesn't get the speed, but she doesn't consume her HP. Val of the Deep. Deals quantum damage to all enemies and increases damage multiplier for follow-up attacks. Okay, that's her ult. I've seen her ult before. It looks good. Um, after Jade or the debt collector unit attacks, Gains 1 point of charge for each enemy target hit. Upon reaching 8 points of charge, consumes 8 points to launch 1 instance of follow-up attack, dealing quantum damage to all enemies. When Jade launches the follow-up attack, gains Pond Asset and increases crit damage stacking up to 50 times. Wow. Or Pond? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, when she gets 8, eight points of her charge, she follow-up attacks. And whenever her the Deck Collector attacks, We'll gain a point of charge okay so it's good that the debt collector is always you know cutting in to do a follow-up attack you know so I'll be, i mean obviously very good with blade um inflicts blind uh sorry visionary predation predation technique inflicts by blind fealty on enemies with a set area uh, attacking an enemy with blind fealty causes enemies within blind fealty to enter a combat simultaneously upon entering combat Deals minor quantum damage to all enemies and immediately gains 15 stacks of pond asset. Interesting. That's good. I wish this was like literally the whole map. Like what if you could take an entire map, like every every character, every enemy character on your plane. Like you go to Yeah, you, know you go to like Bellabog or something and then all the different areas in Bellabog show up. You go to one area in Bellabog. You use like Jade's technique, and then starting a combat will, it'll just be like, 
one of 15 battles and it'll just allow you to do all of that without running around. I think that would be absolutely insane. That would be insane for farming. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's rock and roll. And she gains 15 stacks of her pond asset, which increases her crit damage, stacking up to 15 times. Okay. So she's already 5 out of 8. I'm going to put, obviously, my debt collector on Erda. I don't know why I would use her alt, or her attack. Hmm. Okay, now she goes up to 10. Oh wait, is it every enemy hit? I didn't even realize that. It's every enemy hit, not every time you attack. Okay, let's use Jade's alt here. Oh my god. That's so crazy that her basic attack deals that AoE damage. How much energy does her alt require? It seems like she's just blasting them. Yeah, wow, that gave her that gave her five stacks because there's five enemies on the field. I was gonna give her another five. That is just insane. That is just insane. It's just you, buddy. Wow. Wait, that's so cool. That is awesome. I think I might want to throw in some pulls for Jade, like a part of me does. Just so I feel like give some lo longevity. Longevity. Yeah. Just to breathe some life back into my blade, you know? Because <clears throat> he is like one of my favorite characters in the entire game, design wise. And I do have him, and I do play with him. Wow. This character is awesome. That is crazy. That was really fun. Playing her in pure fiction would just be unbelievably fun. And that is a permanent, you know, staple in the end game modes now. Well, I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you if you like Jade, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.